What is up, YouTube? So, I originally made a powerhouse guide, but the video was really choppy, so I'll, I'm basically redoing my powerhouse guide. And, so yeah, let's just start from the beginning. I'm basically reshooting this all over again. I built a streaming uh, computer because I was not happy with what I had set up. So I have one computer for gaming, one computer for streaming. So, like I said, this is going to be a powerhouse uh, farming guide. And we'll just go over my equipment and then what my spec is. So I'm using a lightweight M4 and it's fully optimized and it has destructive, predatory, and ferocious and that predatory skill, I love it. It keeps me healed pretty good. Uh, but anyway, some people would call that the god roll for the gun. And then I'm using the showstopper. Uh, I don't use this too much. If I'm kind of just messing around at the beginning, like during wave one and two, I might use it. But there's really... Or my main gun is out of bullets and there's a melee in my face. And it's a lot faster to just switch weapons to the showstopper to kill him real quick. So I can then reload after the melee's dead. So then my gear that I'm using is Striker Classified. Uh, it's about mid-range. I didn't quite optimize it as high as I could have. Uh, I did a couple of optimizations on every piece. But it definitely could be better. So this is about the mid-range for being optimized. But... One thing that's important to know is my mods uh, on every piece are not exactly what I want them to be. So this one's okay. Like this one here, I don't want skill haste. What I actually want is damage to elites, which is just purple mods. And I don't have any. I guess in order to get those from what I happen to read, is you got to have a low level character to actually farm those. Uh, because you can't make them and they're just purple mods but I think damage to elites would uh, really help me to make powerhouse even easier for me it already is pretty easy so yeah like first aid heal self interesting skill haste I don't really want skill haste that's the knee pad striker backpack striker those are the mods I got glove striker of course, gloves don't get mods. So yeah, it's full striker. And then... My abilities for skills. I always keep E the same. It's a little self-heal. And then Q is the one I actually switch out. So up until wave 8, I basically use this box. But once I hit wave 8, I switch to the mobile cover. And I'll kind of explain that when we get to wave 8 and why I do that. And T-Skill I always keep as Survivor Link. And then for Talents, we got Critical Save, Combat Medic, Strike Back, and Tech Support. I like Tech Support a lot, because whenever you kill a hostile, whatever skill happens to be out, if that's your healing bag or your mobile cover, every time you kill an enemy... It increases the duration of that lasting by 10%. And during the waves, uh, like you have to skin an objective. During those waves when you're killing a ton of mobs, it really, yeah, your thing will stay out basically forever. So, with that, let's just get started. Uh, basically, if you get good rolls from the chest... It's possible to get three classifieds, and it takes me about a half hour to do this run. So you could potentially get three classifieds every 30 minutes. So that's why I do this. And I'll walk you through exactly how I do it, and why I do it the way I do it. And as a side note, just to kind of... One thing I was unsure of was you got powerhouse resistance, 
you got pure 93 resistance and you got carrier resistance all these resistances are exactly the same you get the same mobs there's no difference as far as the mobs that you get it's all the same the only difference is the layout of the building so powerhouse looks completely inside than pier 93 so the reason i do powerhouse is because i know powerhouse i don't know the layout of pier 93 so if you're more comfortable doing pier 93 then continue doing pier 93 uh, I'm very comfortable in powerhouse, so that is the one that I do, and I absolutely hate carrier because it's literally just one room you're in. It's like a little square you can go around. There's really, it's not big at all. It's very, very tiny. So yeah, I hate that place, but powerhouse is the one that I know, so that is the one that I do. Say, so yeah, let's run down to the mark, and we'll start it up. Time to show them what you've got. So what I do, I just stay at the beginning right here. Just right against this wall. So what's going to happen seconds until next is the mobs are going to come around this wall. And I'm going to be right there to shoot them in the head. <clears throat> so I just stay right here. Seconds until next wave of hostiles. And I'll throw my bag down just for having infinite bullets. Yeah, just stay here. Just shoot them in the head. I can go out there and kill them, but this is just a lazy way of doing it. I actually do wave one and wave two this way. And another thing I like about doing it this way is all the shade tech. The currency for being in here collects right there. I don't have to run around and collect it. It'll all just be right there. Don't go soft, Looks like you got five hostiles remaining. See, I'll, I'll literally just wait here and wait till they come to me. There is sometimes you get down to like the last two or one mob and they won't ever come. They'll just stay like stuck against the wall. In which case, just go out and kill them. But you'll see right here. Just right here. All the shade tech was right there. I don't gotta run around and collect it. I'll do the same thing again. Next wave, wave two. in 20 seconds. Next wave in 10 seconds. Next wave of hostiles starting now. And another important thing to note five is on my HUD there, you can see those two green buffs. We got 44 seconds right now. Got three left. It's important that I have those. If I have that buff on both of those, I'll eat through even bosses. They just melt. So the buff, if I just shoot nothing, it counts down really quick. So as long as you're hitting a mob, it'll count up. I'm seeing one more hostile. <clears throat> so we'll go out and kill this guy. So then for wave three, I go through this door. It costs 1250 to open it. I have 1650 right now. 20 seconds until next wave. And I do wave three down here. Just go in this door, hang out in this room. So I actually do wave three, four, and five in this room. Seconds. 
throw our bag down. EMP blast, sorry inbound. And there is sometimes, like right now, you'll get a guy that spawned behind you. You've got one enemy remaining. I generally don't worry about that person until he comes through the door, like on other waves. This guy, I gotta actually go and kill him since he's stuck. You're gonna need to scan the objective. All right, so this right here is the important wave. Very wave important. Hostiles in 20 seconds. So this is your chance during this wave to just get as many points as you can shade Next tech. Wave of hostiles in 10 seconds. So you want to wait till the last second to go scan that objective. You don't want to go scan it right away because as soon as you scan it, the round basically ends. Scan the indicated location. So we'll just stay here and kill mobs. So what I do, I happen to look here, it's 208 foot away. That's the closer one. So there's two places uh, that it can spawn. This one's 208 foot away, and the other location is 314 foot away. So on the close one here, I start running at 15 seconds to go to it. If it's the further one, the 314 foot one, I'll run at 30 seconds. So, 208 foot, we'll start running at 15 seconds. There's a guy behind me right now. I'm not going to worry about him until he comes out the door. Or he starts shooting me through the door. They like the wall, yeah. Sometimes it's a melee, so he just runs up and whacks me. But that's okay. I don't really... I don't get too excited about it. Timer up top. 15 seconds, we'll start the run. He's walling me. You have 30 seconds remaining to complete the critical objective. for a little speed boost. That's actually why I have it. Just made it. Had a second to spare. <laughs> okay, you just gotta get here before that timer fully finishes. If you get here with a second to spare, you're good. Now, just make sure you don't break this link. See that green link that's going to the computer? If you get too far away, you're going to fail it. So what I do is just stay against this wall. I don't actually know how far you can get away. I just stay close. So 
Sweet. So this is actually the reason why I use the mobile cover. Eliminate all remaining enemies. But just for wave eight. So wave four and wave eight are scanning the objective rounds. So if you could imagine on wave eight is very hard because you have shotgunners and you got to stay by this computer. You're so out in the open. The shotgunners like to run around this corner and just shoot you once. And it seriously hurts. So that's why I have the mobile cover for wave eight. So I'll explain it when we get there, but uh, leave a guy alive so you can collect your points. Do not kill that guy. Just kind of ignore him. He'll shoot at you and try to set you on fire and do all types of things to you. Just ignore him. Go collect all your points. If we get to 5,000 points at this wave, that's fantastic. And we got 5,000. So I do have a bunch of points. So what I'm going to do is just kill this guy. And I'm actually going to restock. Some people say don't restock, don't waste your shade tech on it, but I'll have plenty of extra points. Hostiles inbound in 20 seconds. Which you'll see. Now this wave is also important it's basically the same thing as the previous wave Ten do not kill the boss until the last second now with that sometimes you get a crappy boss it really depends on what boss you get if you can do that or not a heavily armored hostile is inbound. so for me the boss that i absolutely hate is the boss that has the shield because he charges you and he just sucks but if it's any other boss besides him i'll be okay and I have a feeling the boss is actually behind me. Yeah, he's... So I'm going to kill a couple of these for a little bit and go see what boss that is. I really hope it's not the shield boss. I have a feeling there's several mobs stuck back behind me. Because usually these mobs here spawn a lot faster. That's okay. We'll just kind of... By the two minute mark, I'm going to go actually see what boss it is. Because if it's the shield boss, I need time to kill it. Okay, he was actually a good boss. Lightning. Or she was actually a good boss. Oh, leave her alive. I never actually seen her spawn behind me like that. Usually the boss I have spawned behind me is the freaking shield boss.
what I'll do. What I'm thinking. About 30 seconds or so. I'll go run up there and kill her. So, same thing again. Keep the last guy alive so you can collect your points. And make sure the last guy is not a drone. The reason I say make sure it's not a drone is because of what we're about to do. So, wave 6, 7, and 8 I do in the next section. I don't do here. Yeah, hit me dude, whatever. I don't really care. So I'll go back to the beginning just to show you exactly where we're going to next. Just to make it simpler. And this is why I said don't keep a drone alive. So what actually happens with these mobs is as you move throughout this place, they're going to teleport closer to you. Like it shows him down there. When we get so far away, he's going to see he teleported. Now he's back over here. Drones don't teleport, so if I would have left the drone alive and then ran away, it would have just killed the drone. So right here, this is where we were. This is the beginning, stood against the wall, shooting. And we came straight through. We spent 12.50, opened this door. That turret actually hurts. Then we stayed here, killing. So, go down the steps, go through this archway. Do not go into that ventilation, ignore that. Go into here. You want to go into this maintenance room. It costs 3500 to open this door. And then we're going to open one more door, which costs 4000 to open. So between these two doors, it's 7500 Take a left here. Let's go straight across to the other side. You can actually see the door up there we're going to on the right. Right here, the spillway. Costs 4,000 to open. And the chest that we're going to open costs 1,500. Right here, you got to hold Z for this one. is where you get your classifieds from. So that is a classified. It shows a folder that I positioning brazers. So I open it three times. That was the first time. Then we'll get enough points to open it uh, this time here. I had a bunch of points. I could almost open it twice. So now we'll kill this guy. And this next tech. wave is very easy. It's just a drone wave. 20 seconds until next It'll wave. be a bunch of drones, and then usually the last guy is actually a human. Next wave in 10 seconds. So probably after this wave, I'll switch to my mobile cover. Because I want to make sure I have it. For wave eight. Yeah, this is just all drones. And the reason I like being here with the drones is it just gives you the money. It doesn't make you run and get it. You see, I just collected it right there. You'll see, I got 625 points. 750 now. It just gives it to you. If I was in the other area killing these drones, I'd have to run out and collect the money. But here it just gives it to you, so I love it. So I just like being here for this reason. And I do like doing uh, wave 7 and 8 here. Alaska, like I said, is actually a human.
open it again. And you do get exotics from here too. I actually don't Hustle's want any exotics, but... 20 seconds. We got them anyway. So this round, I'm actually not even going to use the bag. Wave of in 10 do I seconds. want to? I was going to switch it. I will switch it, actually. I don't, I don't really need it. We're good. I just want to make sure I have the mobile cover for wave 8. Imminent. Now make sure you don't get too far out here. Mobs will spawn behind you if you get too far. So you stay right around this location, it won't spawn behind you. Or they won't teleport behind you, whatever you want to say. They're in a bad spot. Shotgun was shooting me. So that bad hostiles out there. Really? Could just kept shooting. Whatever. Scanning indicates three enemies remain. You've got one enemy remaining. Way over there. I thought he was right out there. So what we'll do, go back against this wall, and hopefully they'll spawn closer. I don't like running all the way over there. Come on, come on. Come on. Should have spawned closer. It's funny because sometimes the mark shows still far Get away, but you can hear scan. that they're they're closer. All right, so this right here, I have to get seconds. a save. A couple of points. I might restock on the way. Inbound. So Ten this seconds. wave can be tough. They're shotgunners. They literally will run in this room and just shoot you once. And that's all it takes. About four of them doing that and they'll kill you. The so make the shotgunners your priority. The ones that run in the room. So whatever you're killing, if something runs in, switch to that target. Or you're going to have a very tough time. See how he just like charges in. So if I'm shooting something and something charges in at me, I switch to it right away. I don't care if whatever I'm was shooting at is almost dead. Those shotgunners are a priority. Like I said, don't get too far out this room, or they're going to start spawning behind you. Oh, shotgunners hurt. See, so yeah, if I start to go here, they're going to start spawning behind me. So don't do that. Stay right around this corner. So what we're going to do for this one, about 50 seconds I'm going to start running to scan. That's just how I do it. It just seems like a safe number. I'll get there with time to spare. But with these shotgunners, you don't want to play around too much. One minute remains to complete the critical objective. Alright, so what I'm gonna do, throw a grenade, 
hit T. Use everything you got. Sometimes those shotgunners. Like that. So I'm gonna stop right here real quick. Restock. There are 30 seconds remaining for you to complete your critical objective. Sometimes I use V even though I don't really need it. Yeah, I had like 18 seconds to spare. I kind of want it like that. I want to have time. You have 10 seconds remaining to complete the critical objective. So yeah, without this mobile cover, those shotguns just walk around corners and just shoot you. So I have a hard time, it's almost impossible, for me to stay alive without the mobile cover. So, mobile cover is what saves me in this scanning round. And I hate when they do that. Yeah, it sucks when they shock you or... Or they set you on fire. Ah! Take out all remaining enemies. Oh, that sucks. I see five enemies left. You've got three hostiles to go. So yeah, again, leave a guy alive. All right, so let's go collect our points. Get rid of our shield. Back to where we were. Through the maintenance. So the maintenance doors, uh, there's one here and there's one over here. It's the same thing on either side. They're the same. So I open this side. This is actually the side. This is where we came from. Remember I said don't open the ventilation. This is what we ran into. And we opened up this maintenance door. So when you open this side, that side also opens. And the restock that I hit is over there. And there's also one for med kits. But I never get the med kits. I'm actually out of med kits right now, but that's okay. Because this will be the third time of me opening this chest. And at this point, I would be done. And I would just let the, this mob kill me to reset it. I think he shot the lights out. Got dark. So we got Alpha Bridge chest, which is not classified. So if you should happen to just need a couple more points to open it three times, just kill this guy and get to the next round. I'll just show you, just for the sake of showing you. The next round isn't too bad. Get ready. You're gonna have to deal with a contamination anomaly. So when there's a contamination, next wave of hostiles in 20 seconds. I always go to my heal bag. So yeah, during contamination, put on your heal bag. I actually don't need it Ten seconds until next because wave. of my striker set and because of the predatory on my gun. As I kill mobs, I'll get healed. But we'll use this anyway. Warning. Virus bursts are inbound. That was fun. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get to the next round, which is the boss round. Every five levels of the boss okay, round. Five remaining. So 
to kind of show you how I do the next boss round, if you have to go that far to open it three times. Hopefully you don't. Hopefully by wave eight, you opened it three times like I did, and you can just stop there. Just die. You know, reset it and do the same thing again like I did. So since I'm going to show you the boss wave, it could be a little rough. Dude, you need to die. I'm seeing one more hot dog. I'm going to actually go get med kits. You ain't got no idea. I guess I'll restock while I'm at it. There we go. Yeah, the. I probably couldn't do the boss wave without the medkits. <laughs> it gets a little rough. Yeah, the next boss wave is, is kind of sucks. So I could probably open it once more than if I finish the boss wave. Like I said, only go to wave 10 until you have enough points to open it three times. So the first time you open it, costs 1500 Second time, 3000 Then finally, 4500 Then stop there. Just reset it. And I see that we're dying. I forgot about the contamination going on. Care about those points right now, I'll get them later. So, 20 seconds <laughs> until next wave. This round could be rough. <laughs> Let me tell you. So, there's two bosses during this wave. It'll say kill bosses, and they're always in 10 seconds. like big bosses. Like, one's got the tanks on either side and a flamethrower, and they charge you. They just come in here and they don't stop. So, what I do is I drop one as quick as possible and then I run the heck out of this room because with the boss staying in here it's not going to work very good and yes there is a couple of shotgunners you see they're running in oh my gosh I, I hate when they stand there so yeah, this guy here. Oh, this is rough. I'm trying to hit his tank. Can't really see it because I'm being shotgunned. I mean, I'm being lit on fire. Okay. He's dead. We're getting out of this room. Hit T, do whatever you gotta do, stay alive. Just get out of that room. Do not stay in there. We'll run all the way back here. Let's stay in here somewhere. So they usually like to spawn over here and then come in this door. We're kind of just buying ourselves time. don't exactly want to kill that boss, but we might have to. That's why I don't like that boss, he just, he just keeps coming, he doesn't stop. We killed a couple here. I'm gonna drop this boss. Deal with remaining enemies. It's 
three unfriendlies left. Hopefully, if you have to get to this point, you just need a couple of points. Alright, leave him alive. Go collect some stuff. I like to kill those bags just for the heck of it. And I say just for the heck of it because as soon as I kill that guy, his bag's gonna disappear. <laughs> all of our points this is uh division tech here i usually don't even grab these but there is division tech in this dungeon it doesn't cost you shade tech to open it is that what is that oh right here yeah, i'm blind yeah if you need shade tech make sure you collect it I don't really need it that much. I'm more or less just here for the classifieds. It's in particular, I need the reclaimer backpack. I needed that forever. So let's see if we can open another time. I don't even know. Oh, we're a little bit short. Maybe killing him will give us enough. Shade tech oh my goodness, 20. So, yeah, at this point, seconds. hopefully you don't get this far. Do not go this far. It, it's not really... Now, going to three chests and then Hustles stopping, inbound, resetting it, that's, that gets you the fastest uh, classified chest. Or let me say, that, that gives you the, the fastest loot possible. Shade tech interacts have gone offline. But I'm just going to kill a guy now to open this freaking chest. Oh, it says compromise. Sometimes you'll get that, so I can't even use it. i got to basically clear this round. It really sucks. That's okay. I don't know why I'm collecting all the points because I'm literally just opening this one time and letting myself die. Next wave of hostiles in 20 seconds. Best of the Nomad classified. So, yes. Like I said, hopefully at wave 8, you have enough points. You've opened it three Next times. Just seconds. die. It'll put you back to the beginning and just do it all over again. Do not open this chest four times. It, it's... You're actually going to be slower. If you open it four times, see, there's one behind me. If I was pretty far out. I hope that this helps you to farm classifieds in the powerhouse. And it's actually very easy. I do think, though, in my opinion, you at least, at least need a full set of classified to be able to do this. I did actually try it uh, with my reclaimer set, which is not full classified. And... It's not exactly easy. <laughs> so I think you at least need a full set of classified to have a good starting location, whether it's tactician or striker or banshee, whatever it may be. I think any full set of classified, and as long as you optimize it a little bit, kind of for the build that you're using, you should be able to do this at wave eight. You'll have enough points. Uh, and then that's going to lead you you know, by doing this to get all your other classifieds because you're going to get a ton of classifieds doing this. 
like I said, it's potentially get three classifieds every 30 minutes. So six classifieds an hour is what the potential is doing this. So anyway, with that, I hope this helped you guys to do the powerhouse and the division. And I hope that if you like this video, you hit the thumbs up button and that you subscribe to my channel.